This is the Delora mine. It's SA-198. We're looking north at uh, what I'm calling Adit 1. There are two open um, Adits at this site. This is the easternmost Adit. I'm referring to it as Adit 1. You can see the sort of the, the opening here. Kind of a large excavation around the portal itself. We'll get a little bit better look at it um, a little closer here. We're standing out on the dump to the south of it and uh, get a, we'll get up close there. You can see this fairly large excavation here. Coming in from the east is the, the road that gets to here. It kind of switches, switch backs up off up the hill uh, from Spring Creek and uh, kind of works its way. Fairly brushed in road. It is walkable but not really uh, travelable by, by uh, car it is it's washed out in a couple places and very brushed in and uh, a lot of downfall on it so you can see this fairly large excavation here we're kind of looking over towards where Adit 2 is it's kind of up in the up above there just a little bit we'll we'll go and look at it it is also open but we'll get a little close up a little bit better close up view of Adit 1 here Here we're right up close to the portal of Adit 1 and see that elongate opening there. It does go back in quite a ways. Um, it's hard to say just how far. You can see it's open back in there. The rock appears to be fairly stable back in a ways. And uh, I don't know how far back it does go. It's a fairly large dump so it uh, it may be a, a substantial uh, portal here or Adit. So, this will be it for Adit 1. We'll go up and look at Adit 2 now. Here we're looking at Adit 2 for the Delora mine, SA-198. It, uh, as with Adit 1, it's, this is also open. See back in there a little ways, we really won't get much closer than that. It's not, uh, not much to see back in there. Just uh, enough to say that it is, it is open, a fairly large opening, unlike Adit 1, which is kind of small but easily accessible. This is much more, a uh, much larger opening, and uh, and again, it uh, goes back quite a ways. You can't really tell how far, but uh, it is open a substantial distance back. But we'll uh, turn around. We're looking again to the north here. We'll turn around and look to the south at the, the dump area and the small... Uh, um, wood structure, probably a loading ramp of some sort for the ore that's out in front of Adit 2. And we'll, that's looking, we'll look uh, south from here. Here we're looking south out of the portal of Adit 2. There's a, a wooden structure that's a, kind of a frame that is out in front of, of Adit 2. It probably was just a, a stabilizer for a loading ramp. Uh, for ore coming out of the of the portal itself, uh, we will we'll look at that from the bottom. The uh, dumps from both Adit One and Two kind of coalesce along the slope, and it really is uh, it's hard to differentiate the two when the ore, when the material was brought out. They just kind of dumped it out over the slope, and they both are close enough together that they they really do uh, combine. And therefore, there's not a not really a difference between the two. I'm not differentiating them as they come out the onto the slope. So we'll look at the the dump area now for essentially both uh, adits. Here we're just south of the that wood uh, framework there, just outside of Adit Two for the Delora mine. We're looking east here, kind of at the dump. For both portals, um, you can see the going down slope, uh, the the flat, and then it, it works its way down. It's uh, probably a hundred feet or so on the slope itself, uh, and and the the dump kind of goes east west along the the slope here. Both dumps kind of coalesce. Uh, they really probably can be differentiated somewhat, but it doesn't make any any difference to do that. Uh, they're at it one comes out about 35 feet and uh, it's about 50 feet wide and uh, so 
it's a fairly substantial one and it's not all that deep it is a very steep slope that it's on here and it does travel quite a ways down the slope so this will be it for the Delora mine SA 198